largest Allied invasion fleet since Luzon approaches Borneo's east coast. Its objective, the rich Japanese-held oil center of Balikpapan. General of Army Douglas MacArthur directs operations as a fierce naval bombardment opens. Heavy guns continue to blast strong Japanese defenses while the first waves begin the drive to shore. These are Australian troops of the famed 7th Division, who in the jungles of New Guinea three years ago halted the Japanese before Australia. Japanese shore batteries retaliate. but the Australians go in relentlessly. Under mortar and machine gun fire, a shallow mile-long beachhead is hacked out. Then, the push inland. MacArthur comes ashore. Balikpapan once yielded 35,000 barrels of high-quality oil a day. Though its Dutch-built refineries are now destroyed, they will soon be back in operation, as another vital island, Borneo, is being wrested from the enemy. The Empire State Building and all New York City were wrapped in fog as a B-25 Mitchell bomber trying to reach a nearby airport crashed into the tallest structure in the world. Thirteen were killed, including the three in the plane. Empire State Building's 79th floor was hardest hit by the crash after the bomber's pilot lost his bearings and tried unsuccessfully to bank away from the skyscraper. With elevators out of order, firemen had to drag their hoses many stories high to fight the flames spread by gasoline and oil. Disaster units respond to the emergency call. When the plane hit the building's north side, Parts of it were jammed into the walls. Others plummeted down elevator shafts. Still others crashed through seven consecutive walls and out the south side, causing damage to nearby buildings. One elevator fell 80 floors, but its girl operator miraculously escaped death. 950 feet above the street, repairs are begun on New York's 102-story skyscraper. of American equipment at the Delta staging base in southern France. Main redeployment area for United States troops and route direct from Europe to the Pacific. Here, American veterans of European victory head for battle against Japan 12,000 miles away. At the docks of Marseille, transports wait to take them on board, and Red Cross refreshments help lighten the job.
a glimpse of their destination, Japan, and final victory. These are some of Europe's stranded millions, displaced persons, participants in the largest, swiftest mass migration in history. Wrested from their homes by war and German labor conscription, freed by a live victory, but homeless, the displaced peoples are now being quickly relocated. Russian civilians start homeward from Germany, and at Camp Schonau, near Leipzig, many nationalities and all ages await transport. In the American and British occupation zones alone, there have been more than six and a half million displaced persons to be fed, sheltered, and helped out of Germany. The monumental task is handled with efficient speed by the authorities. Europe is again at peace. Through military governments and emergency agencies, these victims of war will return to their own communities to help in the rebuilding of a ravaged continent. Off Japan proper, the USS Nevada and her escorts fight off attacks by kamikaze suicide planes. blown off, a Japanese plane scores a direct hit. The Nevada, veteran of the last war, was in Pearl Harbor at this war's beginning and has fought in many major actions since. All that remain of the kamikaze plane are its wheels. The pilot is wrapped in the Japanese flag for his suicide mission. Casualties on the Nevada are 60 men dead, wounded, and missing. The carrier Ticonderoga off Formosa sustains a near miss from another kamikaze. Succeeding enemy planes try for hits. Most are brought down. One dives straight into the Ticonderoga. Smoke envelops the ship. Pictures made simultaneously show the same attack viewed from the carrier itself. the fire is brought under control and repairs begin. Damaged planes are jettisoned. Both the Nevada and the Ticonderoga went back into action within a few hours. The strange kamikaze warfare causes heavy casualties, but it will not slow down Japan's defeat.